Discovered in the western United States during the 1870 years, amidst the intense fossil hunting period known as the Bone Wars, Brontosaurus excelsus was one of the most complete sauropod dinosaurs identified at the time. In the early 1900 years, the name Brontosaurus was deemed invalid, and it was reclassified as a species of its closely related counterpart, Apatosaurus, becoming Apatosaurus excelsus. Despite this scientific reclassification, the change was slow to catch on outside of academic circles. By then, the name Brontosaurus had already become entrenched in popular culture, helped by museum exhibits and the appealing translation of Thunder Lizard. This cemented its status as one of the most iconic dinosaurs for the public. During much of the early 20th century, Brontosaurus was depicted similarly to other sauropods of the time as a large, bulky creature with a curved back, elephant-like legs, and a long, heavy tail dragging behind it. of its neck posture varied, with some showing it held horizontally and others portraying it upright. Commonly thought to be too massive to walk efficiently on land, Brontosaurus was often illustrated lounging in swamps. Adding to the confusion, Brontosaurus spent most of this time with the wrong head. While a slender skull, resembling that of Diplodocus, was found near an Apatosaurus skeleton in the early 1900 years, it was dismissed. Instead, both Brontosaurus and Apatosaurus were inaccurately given boxy skulls similar to Camarasaurus, thought to better fit their stout necks. The dinosaur renaissance in the late 20th century transformed the understanding of sauropods. No longer thought of as sluggish swamp dwellers, they were recognized as active terrestrial animals with tails held aloft and bird-like air sacs that lightened their massive bodies. In the late 70s, the correct slender skull shape for both Brontosaurus and Apatosaurus was finally acknowledged. By the 90s and early 2000 years, reconstructions began showing them with more horizontal necks. However, by the 2010 years, this horizontal posture was debated, with some arguing that sauropods likely held their necks at higher angles, similar to modern animals. In 2015, after a detailed analysis of the diplodocid family, the name Brontosaurus was reinstated as valid. Enough differences were found between Brontosaurus and Apatosaurus to classify them as separate genera once again. Today, Brontosaurus excelsus is understood to have been a large sauropod, measuring around 22 meters long. It lived during the late Jurassic period, approximately 156 to 146 million years ago, when the supercontinent Pangaea was beginning to break apart, and the landscape of western North America was a warm, semi-arid, Jurassic savanna. Its head, similar to that of Diplodocus, was small and delicate, perched atop a wide neck with robust vertebrae. It had a deep chest, sturdy limbs, and semi-tubular forelimbs with a single, thumb claw, while its hind feet bore three large curved claws. The tail, comprising more than half its body length, tapered into a slender whip-like tip, which might have been able to produce a loud crack like a bullwhip. Brontosaurus may have been capable of briefly rearing up to feed on tall vegetation, and juvenile individuals might have been agile enough to run on their hind legs. Fossilized soft tissue from other diplodocids reveals keratinous spines along the tops of their tails and intricate scale patterns across their bodies, suggesting Brontosaurus may have been similarly adorned.